Just going to show you a quick example now of creating a cabinet layout symbol. So I'm going to start by creating a new page. Bear in mind that this is scaled 1 to 10. We can check that by right clicking on the page and choosing page properties and we can see here that this is scaled 1 to 10. So I'm going to go down to file and choose open and I'm going to import a DWG file I've downloaded for a TSYS thermal overload. So I'm going to go into there and choose DWG files and choose an LR9 F56. Now as this comes in everything looks fine but remember this is scaled at 1 to 10 so although this says 100 it's actually a thousand millimeters across. So we'll ignore that for now. Remove the dimensions. This is all separate elements so before we actually save it window round right click and choose block as a component. So click on OK. Choose a default ID and then select where I want this to go so I'm going to go into my uh, custom folder and I'm going to drop it into panel and call it LR9F so if I go to the LR9F notice now that it comes in much smaller it's 10 times smaller so by saving it on a scale of 1 to 10 page if you draw it at the uh, 10 times the size it should be, when you drop it onto the side it will scale it and when you use it it will be the correct size. Let's just look at the last part of this under functions and database. If we now search functions and find type LR9F5 something and I should be able to find a suitable part number in there. Let's see if we've got one that's got a size on it. There we go. Double click to select that one and OK. In the defined channels, we need to click on the folder, select cabinet, and say what symbol to use. And that should be coming from our custom folder, panel LR9F. Click on OK. And it should have at least one connection point, so I'm just going to give it the first connection point and click OK. Close that down <clears throat> and then in future if I'm looking for this device I can type LR9F56 F5 something and I can see my device there. Click and place and this has now got a double click, the component ID and the type already in there.